Hey everybody, it's Bobby Cool Daddy Slick Breeze in the house. He back. He back. <laughs> and Jeremy Rusco. We are here with the Dynamic Discs updates with Jeremy Rusco. Of course, this is for the month of November. And before we get started on anything, Jeremy, I gotta ask, what are you wearing? Unapproved. Unapproved apparel here at Dynamic Discs. For the best football team in America. <laughs> I guess we'll see. From what I understand, the Chiefs are playing the Rams. The Chiefs are 9-1 and one, and the Rams are 9-1 and one as well. So it's going to be a good game. And I guess we'll see at the end of the night if the Chiefs are, in fact, a good team or not. They are. They we are. are. It's going to be good. Can I make it interesting? It's going to be a blowout. <laughs> it's going to be good. All right. So, yes, go Chiefs. Chiefs Nation, uh, but uh, let's jump into some uh, disc golf. We have a lot to talk about today. First, we're going to start off with Winter Marksman League. Yeah, I just got an update from Derek Savory, the man here in charge of uh, keeping Winter Marksman League up and going. And, uh, well, when I looked earlier this morning, there were 59 leagues already registered, which is uh, quite ahead of pace from last year. So we are absolutely expecting uh, there to be more and more leagues uh, for this winter. And we're also implementing the Winter Marksman League over in Europe. So um, that's something that's going to be exciting. I know the Latitude 64 crew is really looking forward uh, to having the Winter Marksman League over there. And then uh, one of the other things that we implemented this year, we had got some feedback uh, requesting that there would be different divisions, at least for the UDISC scoring portal. And um, we've answered UDISC has implemented uh, up to the tournament director or the, or the league host um, discretion if they want to have different leagues uh, different divisions that can be done in UDISC this year so uh, looking forward to a great winter marksman league if you haven't checked out UDISC for uh, where all the event locations are do that check it out and get yourself involved and or host a winter marksman league yourself it's a lot of fun uh, and it makes your putting better for when it really counts come tournament season next year. Yeah, and if, if you have a little questions uh, about uh, how the format is set up, Danny actually put together a quick video to kind of explain how the format works. So Danny, once you get that queued up, why don't you go ahead and play for the folks. Disc's Winter Marksman Putting League is a great way to keep your putting honed in this offseason. Here's how it works. Every week, each player will putt at five different stations, starting with a standard basket at 20, 25, and 33 feet, then moving to a marksman basket at 25 and 33 feet. Points are awarded based on the amount of putts made and the station. So putts made at the first station are worth one point, and putts made at the fifth station are worth five points. We've got prizes included for the weekly and cumulative winners, too. Interested? Head to dynamicdiscs.com WML to find a league or run one this winter. All right, so yeah, so just a real quick uh, showing you how to do how the format works. Really cool setup to be able to keep you uh, keep your putting on game on point throughout the winter season. So good stuff there. For sure. So we've already got a lot of questions in the YouTube chat. That's awesome. We'll get those to those in a few seconds. Uh, but if you do have any questions, we want to remind you put that in the YouTube chat, and we will get to those here in a few minutes. But right now we're going to talk about one of the well, we still hold the record right for the biggest disc golf tournament. Yes. In history, right? Yeah, like yes. the top three, I think. The glass blown open, little thing we call GBO here in Emporia, Kansas. Registration opened last week for a lot of divisions. Now, this uh, this year we did, or for 2019, we did kind of a, a breakdown of divisions. That way we didn't have thousands of people trying to sign up for one event. So now we broke it down into different divisions, and that has worked out really well. It has. And uh, so tonight actually is the advanced division that will be opening up. But uh, I think you got some other news you want to share on this as well. Yeah, 368 spots open up tonight. Bobby and Doug are planning on doing a live broadcast uh, tonight while I'm watching the Chiefs on their way to uh, to victory. No, hopefully Glass Bowl and Open advanced registration fills up um, while it's still the first quarter of the Chiefs game so they can get out and come yes. and watch the Chiefs. Play. I'm probably going to have my little iPhone set up to, and watching <laughs> yeah. it while we're going. <laughs> um yeah, right now there's already 825, well, more than 825 players registered for this year's Glass Bowl and Open with another 368 spots opening tonight and then another 368 spots of uh, the age-protected age um, amateurs opening up uh, the following night. So uh, we're hoping to get to uh, record-breaking numbers again and 
It's going to be awesome. If you haven't put Glass Bowl and Open on your calendar, on your schedule, make sure whether you're playing in the tournament, whether you're coming to spectate, whether you're just coming to participate in all the other C tier events that are going on mm -hmm. or the evening events that are happening, Glass Bowl and Open is going to be incredible. And we're going to have the largest gallery in all of disc golf come the entire week, but especially on Saturday out at the Emporia Country Club. So again, last week of April, put it on your calendar, come see us here. And you can stay up to date with everything at glassblownopen.com for all the information. And I think Bobby's probably got some details on the app yes. as well. Yes. So normally we'd have the app out by now, but actually Apple changed the way they did some stuff. So I had to do some little bit of different things with the developer account. That's all behind, uh, whatever. It's been <laughs> submitted. It's right now. I just got an email, in fact, early this morning that said the app is in the review process. So I'm guessing within the next five or six days, you'll see in the Apple App Store and in the Google Play Store, you'll be able to search for Glassbone Open and you'll be able to download the app. That is such a vital tool for us to use to communicate to the players and to the spectators. But even if you're not here in Emporia and just kind of want to get a feel for what's going on, download that app and you can talk to people that are at the event. You can see all the different events that are going on. We'll, of course, include any links links to videos and, and any of the media that we do we'll put there in the mobile app so and we'll definitely use the push notification features and stuff like that so anyway it's just a really cool uh, tool for us to use to communicate uh, as much as possible as we can to the players absolutely um, you know I just noticed something yes we forgot to talk about the winter marksman league oh yeah we did sorry moonshine maiden in VIP plastic so uh, tournament directors are able to get these um, to help raise funds for maybe having to rent the uh, the putting league location or additional prize money or whatever they want to do. So the only way you can get the Moonshine Maiden is through the Winter Marksman League right now. So one more incentive to, to run a league and or participate in a league. Um, other thing we've been getting a lot of questions on is the United States Amateur Match Play Championships, which uh, this was our first year to host United States Amateur Match Play Championships singles and doubles edition. And uh, we've got stuff planned already for 2019. We'll be getting more information out soon for that. But um, one, of the, one of the things that I think is going to come at a surprise to most everybody is what's going to be in the player pack because Latitude 64 was only planning on releasing two new discs this year, one being the Pioneer and one being the Recoil, which a lot of you guys have probably already heard about, um, with one of those being... Maybe Ricky Wysocki's signature was supposed to be on one of those, but uh, we'll, we'll get into that maybe a little bit later. But uh, this year, or next year for the USAMPC, we're going to be doing the Latitude 64 Keystone as part of the player pack, as well as a Lucid X Escape in the and player pack. Danny has an image of that Keystone, if he wants to put that up on the, the screen real quick. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot like, um, it's going to be a putter from Latitude 64 that um, feels a little bit like a deputy, um, has a straight flight characteristic, and again, it was not planned to be released for 2019, but um, for the United States Amateur Match Play Championship, um, and potentially Trilogy Challenge, it is going to be Latitude 64's disc. So we'll have information out soon for United States Amateur Match Play Championship. You can go to discgolfmatchplay.com. Some of the information has been updated, and uh, looking forward to an awesome 2019 season. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait to do it again uh, next year. All right, before we head on to our next uh, bulleted item, what do you say we get a few questions in? Probably a good idea. All right, so I'm going to scroll up to the top here at... YouTube, see if we can get, uh, let's see, TJ says, not a question, but happy Thanksgiving to the DD family, and thanks for all the cool discs I bought this year. Well, TJ, we want to say thank you to you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for thank everything you. you guys do. Happy Thanksgiving week for sure. Hard to believe it's already Thanksgiving week. Uh, Tim says, I'm a 300-pound guy, and all I, all the how-to videos are these 150-pound <laughs> guys who, uh, who is in the 300-pound range to watch and learn from, or no. Sorry, or yeah, so he's looking for something. Well, I put a comment in there, Tim, because if you, there's some videos we do that is this disc right for you, where Eric McCabe and myself we compare and we throw and we talk about some of the discs, or well, now pretty much all the discs we have out. And I'm not some skinny mini, so <laughs> that'll kind of show you a little bit. Now, as someone already uh, commented, yes, I have started a, a workout routine and I have started to lose some weight, but you can look back at those videos oh. and you can see a big guy throwing the discs. Um, do you have any specific? targets for whom you would like to see join team dd 
Well, we're always working on something. There you and go. We're working on somebody. And, you know, we've had a lot of our team players in town. Um, you know, we reached out to a lot of different players this year. And, you know, I love our team. I think we've got one of the best disc golf teams, one of the best disc golf families out there. And we'll get into a little bit more detail here in a little bit on our next after the questions here. Uh, Jeremy, is there any forecast we could le learn about in relationship to the growth of DD internally or with other businesses? Ah, uh, well, I don't know. Um, I got the tough questions tonight, yeah. huh? I don't know on that one. Okay. If there's anything that, uh, I, there's I mean, there's been, some, see, yeah. there's been some really good articles. Uh, you can go to dynamicdisc.com slash articles and see some things that have been posted out there, but I don't know if there's any hard data or anything like that. Uh, and now Woody says, how are the veteran baskets being received by the top pros feedback and such? Just curious. It is a major course cost. You are also selling. Uh, let me hear your pitch for the veteran. I think that the veteran is the best disc golf basket on the market, but I might be a little bit biased, mm, just a little bit, but, <laughs> uh, with that being said, I mean, it is a, uh, disc golf pro tour approved yeah. basket. And I think there's only, Four, four, I think. Four yeah, baskets. I remember at least at the. I remember at the beginning. I can't remember what was it last year or the year before. Uh, on a Discord Pro Tour Facebook group, secret yeah. group, they actually had a, a a poll and they voted on the the baskets that the pros want to see in the Discord Pro Tour circuit. And yes. the veteran and this basket was by was, the top pros that are out there. Yeah, the touring pros. And the veteran basket was voted in. So that if that tells you anything there. It is the only disc golf basket on the market now that we have that has stainless steel chains as well as a stainless steel top. We just had a recent um, improvement to uh, the product for the veteran. So it's just continuing to get better and better. And we have loved putting disc golf courses all across the all across the country. And I tell you what, it surprises me how many disc golf courses continue to get put in the ground. And I would love to see the veterans out there. So um, reach out to us if you got any questions on the veteran and uh, Eric McCabe or Sherry would love to help walk you through the process and get, get the best disc golf baskets to you. Well, Nick has some more questions. And, and from one the, the look of the questions, I think Nick is trying to start his own disc golf company because he's won a lot of insider <laughs> well, re information. <laughs> reach, uh, reach out to me. Um, and we, I can try to get some different information to you for sure. Excellent. We'll get back to some of your questions, yeah. Nick. I'm just picking on you. So let's talk team sponsorship, Jeremy. Lots yes. been going on in the yes. Facebook disc golf world as far as players moving, players jump going to other companies. What do we got in the uh, uh, forecast for Team Dynamic Discs? Well, I know everybody's already seeing the news about Ricky Wysocki. It was tough to see him leave Latitude 64's team. Obviously, he was throwing a lot of our uh, plastic as well and representing all three companies, Dynamic, Latitude, and Westside. Um, that, was a, that was a tough one to lose. Definitely loved having Ricky as a part of the DD Latitude Westside trilogy family. But, um, you know, Ricky's... Ricky's one of the best players, and these players are grabbing some money. And uh, I tell you what, I feel like Latitude threw a lot of money out there to try to keep him on board, but um, it all comes down to money. And yeah, You know what they say, what's the answer out of 9 out of 10 questions? <laughs> money. Um, so, and, and we saw the news about Paul Macbeth today um, getting sponsored by, or, or officially making his announcement about uh, joining Discraft. And rumor is that it's a million dollar plus guaranteed contract for four years. And uh, it's exciting to see where things are going with these players making some really serious money. And I hope that someday we can uh, follow suit and be able to match that. But right now, um, that's not in our cards. We haven't been in business for 35 or 40 years like uh, some of the other disc golf companies out, companies out there. So hopefully one day we're able to uh, to do that. But generally speaking, I think it's awesome to see these players out there. I think that we've got the most passionate, the most dedicated disc golf team out there that is really a disc golf family. And I've been really excited to see just how uh, little movement we've had in terms of dynamic discs. Uh, just last week, Paige Pierce and Paige Bjerkus both um, confirmed and committed uh, for two-year agreement for Paige Bjerkus and three-year agreement for Paige Pierce. 
multiple time world champion with Paige Pierce and obviously Paige Bjork is just winning last year's world championships or this year's world championships. It's pretty exciting to keep those two on board. Uh, Eric McCabe, I saw that Ralph, uh, there's a picture of Ralph and uh, Eric McCabe committed for life to Dynamic Disc, I think it was. <laughs> it might be just Ralph for right now. We'll okay. have to see, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, Eric McCabe, course design, uh, world champion, doing great things for us. Uh, Ron Converse Jr. making his uh, commitment again for – uh, dynamic discs for the upcoming season two-time grandmaster world champion great to see ron on board again uh we've got aj risley um we got a bunch of players we got <laughs> aj risley zach melton in town right now eric oakley and tina oakley just came through town um, jordan castro's in town right now we got a lot of stuff happening chris clemens um Dustin Keegan, Peter McBride, Zoe Andike. Uh, as of right now, I think that you can expect that all these players are going to be back for next year, but um, we'll be having some more official announcements coming up soon. So I think we got an amazing disc golf team, amazing disc golf family, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what – 2019's got in store absolutely i mean i'm looking at these faces i can't wait to head out to vegas to see every one of these faces together out there throwing plastic and having fun out there on the course yeah. uh, uh family is something we always talk about but it's always something you feel when you see us out on the course uh you'll see uh, our touring players helping our other touring players carrying their bags coaching them along um i can only talk about ours because i know us closely and i gotta say we have the best family out there agreed all right so what do we got coming up next we want to go through a few more questions yeah sure why not all right so let's see we got some questions that you had on your facebook page jeremiah wants to know what's up with the west side discs disc golf bag what up with that jeremy it's just what up with that i wish i would have had the clip from <laughs> what up with that Anyway, it's just sorry. taking some time. <laughs> it's just taking some time. I tell you what, we can just go back and forth on things, and I wish we had something to deliver today. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, it's it's really challenging. There's so many disc golf bags out there right now, um, between Dynamic Discs and between Latitude 64, uh, as well as the other disc golf uh, competition that's out there. And you know, we just want to make sure that we we uh, put out the right product. Um, and it's just taking some time. Yeah. Melvin wants to know, when will the newest line of Zuka cards be released? You were seen sporting it on a Facebook Live round months back. I was. And, you know, it's funny how some things come together so quickly and some things do just, not. <laughs> yeah. And this is one of those things that is uh, taking a little bit longer than, um, you know, I guess maybe we're used to. But with that being said, we want to make sure that we get it right. And uh, we are fully expecting that we will have uh, the newest Zuka dynamic cart released for the spring of 2019. Uh, Zach wants and to you're know. Gonna oh, like and you're going to like, gonna it. like it. And you're going to like it. Zach wants <laughs> to know with next generation done and match play done, when will we hear more about next year's plans? Yeah, how about yesterday? Silas Schultz taking know, home took home that, uh, what was it, a Jeep, Jeep Renegade? Jeep Renegade. Can't a sharp even, looking car. He can't even drive. I didn't realize what <laughs> yeah. Harold Greer uh, used to work at Import or used to work at Import used to work here at Dynamic Discs. He had to drive the car away for Silas <laughs> after he won. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. exciting. To, exciting to watch that come down to the finish. Um, obviously, we just talked about match play just a little bit ago. Super excited about that for for the 2019 season, and we are currently talking about ways to um, do more with match play. So hopefully, we've got a couple more. Um, additions for this next year all right so before we go on to the next thing i want to make sure we we already talked about winter marshman league the maidens here but i want people to notice these really cool die maxes that we have out this is something new that we have these flag bar stamps and we have them in the different molds the judge we have a compass just really cool with that flag kind of uh I don't know what the word is, fancy, fancy art graphic word for it is. I know Trevor has been busy up yes, in the IMAX area trying nice. to keep up with these orders. And I was scrolling strolling through the store and noticed an order that had like seven or eight of those. Mm -hmm. um, nice. So I don't think it'll be long. And some people might just have a full entire bag of those. So super that be clean. Something? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. The race to the see who's got the first. Who's got the all, first all fly, uh, fly mart. Flag, flag <laughs> bar stamped. Flag stamped. <laughs> <laughs> flag stamped. <laughs> 
Anyway, all right. So holiday Whoa. releases. What do we got coming up for the holidays? So a lot of people have been asking when the Trilogy Challenge discs are going to be uh, officially available in the stock stamp version. And um, the Patrol, the Musket, and the Maiden are all available um, coming this, this holiday, this week. Um, for Black Friday, I believe, is the uh, online release day for those. So um, you can get all three of those. And, you know, I think the Maiden's obviously been talked up. A lot of people are loving the Maiden. Um, the Patrol is... Uh, I love the Patrol. The Patrol is an amazing, yes. understable mid-range disc that is actually flies great for people with slower arm speeds, lower arm speeds like, say, Bobby, as well as we just got done talking about um, two-time slow. Grandmaster World Champion. I'm just slow. Right. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, slow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, no, you're not. Uh I know Ron Converse loves the Patrol. He likes the Patrol, uh, too. Now, man. they've dubbed it something different, uh -oh. but we're going to let Danny's video let you know the new name for the Patrol. Take it away, Danny. Uh-oh. Here we had some amazing discs available exclusively at the Trilogy Challenges all over the world. Soon, these discs are releasing with a stock stamp. Here's everything you need to know. The putter is the West Side Discs Maiden. This is a fairly straight flying putter that will move right if you throw it flat, but on a hyzer release, it'll flip up to flat before having a reliable fade at the end. With a controllable flight and good glide, this disc is fantastic for approaches or for those longer putts. The mid-range is the Dynamic Discs Patrol. This is a very understable mid-range with a nice smooth turn that even the lower arm speeds are gonna be able to get to work to the right. It's fantastic for hyzer flips in the woods that you need to finish to that right side or for rollers. But with the patrol, it's important to remember that rollers are actually called patrollers. The fairway driver this year is the Latitude 64 Musket. This is a 10 speed, sort of in between fairway and distance driver with good glide, a little bit of turn and a reliable fade. It's workable on everything from a hyzer flip that doesn't quite flip to flat or a flat release will get a nice big turnover with a gentle fade out at the end and it's got enough glide to give it distance that competes with distance drivers, just with a little bit more control. These discs are amazing, and if you're looking to pick one up, they're coming soon to your favorite retailer. There you go, guys. Super exciting uh, stuff. I know a lot of people that are super anxious to get a hold of the stock stamp uh, regular release of these discs. So uh, do we have an actual date? Is it pretty much uh i believe it's black friday black friday okay uh, so those will be ready so i'm super excited i'm gonna get me a couple of them uh, lucid patrols for sure um i know a lot of people that want to get their hands on the maiden and from what i understand the musket is a must get got him <laughs> 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 is a so, must get so but you know i've been you know i've been noticing that a lot of people talking about patrol talking to maiden but not so much the musket tell us a little bit about the musket and why they something they should try out you know i i have one of the early prototypes of the muskets in my bag and i love it i absolutely love it because i throw an escape i throw a getaway and when i need something that's in between the two i rely on the musket and I, it's just a it's a really fast fairway driver that you can get a lot of dis distance with um and I, I don't know why not enough people are talking about it, but um, I can promise you that if you like the escape and or the getaway, you're going to like the musket. All right. So before we get back to another couple more things for holiday release, let's throw in a couple questions here. Okay. Uh, Matt Kruger, what's your favorite part of Winter Marksman League? Bringing the local disc golf community together in the winter when most don't get to play or the U-Disc scoring? I like the Winter Marksman League for both those reasons. I love the fact that players get to – um, compare their scores against everybody in the entire world that's participating in the Winter Marksman League. And I love how you can just look week after week how um, players across the country get better at putting uh, through using the UDISC app. And then I just love the fact that, you know, it's tough to get out and play disc golf in the winter. It's tough to get, a, get around your disc golf family. But the Winter Marksman League is a time where your local disc golf community can come together um, bond, have a good time. If you're, if you're playing at a, at a brewery or at a bar or something like that, obviously some people might be partaking in some, some beverages and having a good time. So I love the Marksman League for the social aspect, but I also love the competitive side of it. All right. Two away Robertson is asking a question that I'm sure a lot of people are curious about. What are your thoughts on the Macbeth moving to Discraft? I was, already, you already kind of talked about yeah, it earlier we, we a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's exciting for the sport. It's exciting for, uh, Paul Macbeth. And um, I, th I think we're, you know, the, what, what's happening out there is, is a really, really good thing for disc golf in general, and especially for those players that are cashing in on all that. What's the saying? The only thing that's permanent, permanent is change. I mean, yep. it, things have to evolve. Otherwise, they just 
never grow. So it's just one of those things that's evolving. For sure. Next is uh, Chad. Old runs of Moonshine Lucid were really bright and really stable. Never run, no newer run, had minimal glow and were not effective for the glow rounds. What say you, Jeremy Resco? Uh, you know, we've, we've got the feedback, obviously, that, um, that there's been some inconsistencies uh, to that. And we've, we've taken that feedback, obviously, and shared that. And we absolutely um, are, are working to get the moonshine discs bright and vibrant again. And I think, Bobby, you put I one of I took a these, picture on Instagram story because uh, it was pretty bright. Yeah. And so the stuff's coming back. We got, we got some things fixed and solved and all is well. In the moonshine world, we think. What about, he, he's more curious about uh, the escape and the trespass, uh, I'm assuming eventually. Yeah, I don't know enough about what's what we got and what we don't got, what's new, what's, yeah. Sorry, Chad. And then Bryce wants to know, do you ever foresee DD someday offering a one million, million <laughs> dollar contract to a player? Uh, that is something that I absolutely do. Um foresee happening here i mean it's you know dynamic discs as a manufacturer is uh not very old and um you know when you when you space a million dollars out over say something like paul mcbeth's four-year rumored contract two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year um i guess it just depends on how you break it down and i would like to think that um you know within the next 10 years we'll absolutely be be there and whether that is next year um hard to say so Again, it's exciting to see where things are going for player uh, sponsorship. Um, for us today, uh, we're not offering out any million-dollar contracts. All right, so back to the holiday deals. We have quite a few going on. I'm sure you're anxious to see what we have going on with Black Friday and, 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 and yeah, the Black Friday weekend and Cyber Monday and all that stuff. I haven't seen any particular list. I know there's a few things that we've sent out to retailers to let them know. Are we okay to let the know, our audience know about some of those things? or Sure, why not? I don't even know what they are. Oh, right. I don't know what I'm <laughs> allowed to say, so I will leave it at that. Uh, uh, you'll see some crazy prices on some of the stuff. Yeah. My favorite thing for the holiday is the mystery box. Okay. The mystery box. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Again, I don't know what I can say. <laughs> no, okay, I can say. Yeah, you can talk so, about So, but mystery no, boxes. mystery boxes. Um, everybody loves those every year. Um, they're really cool. Um, you never know what you're going to get. We try to put some really cool stuff in there. Um, this year we, we, did we do the golden ticket last year? Yeah. But did we do as much stuff as we gave away? I don't think so. Okay. So before we start talking to, about it, we did a little promo and you'll see something that's a little, even extra special that we put in, uh, this year's mystery box. Danny. We all just signed all these discs behind us. You might get one in a mystery box. The mystery boxes go on sale around Black Friday, so keep an eye out. And if you're one of one of three lucky winners, you could win the golden ticket prizes, which are Ranger H2O, Zuka, and Marksman Basket. Be dynamic. Be dynamic. Be dynamic. All right, so what was I thinking before I was looking at our notes? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the extra special little thing is Paige Bierkus, of course, is here in town. Tina and Eric Oakley stopped by to visit, get to help us with doing some videos and getting themselves ready for next year. And we thought it would be really cool for them to sign a bunch of discs that will go in the mystery boxes. Now, now obviously, they didn't sign all the discs because there's quite a few discs uh, based on the number of boxes we have out there ready to go. Uh, but... They signed a lot of discs, and they're going to randomly put them in boxes. So you may get a mystery box that has the signature of Paige Bjorkus or of Tina Oakley or of Eric Oakley or of all three or Tina and Paige or Tina and Eric. You know, they just kind of had fun with the different signatures and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. And then the other big thing is we have 15 golden tickets. We're giving away five Ranger H2Os, five Dynamic Discs Compact Carts by Zuka, and five Dynamic Discs Marksman Baskets. Um, you'll basically get that golden ticket in your box and then you'll note it'll have instructions to notify us I'm assuming right and then we'll figure out how to ship it out to them correct I believe that's process and I, or it's just going to show up or it might just show up at your door so uh -huh. you're going to order a mystery box and the big mystery big surprise mystery will be that you have a little bit extra in there so super excited about that again that's going to go on sale 
uh, on Thanksgiving Day. Yes. And then, of course, sell throughout the Black Friday weekend, Cyber, Mo Cyber Monday, until we run out of those. So super excited about that. Yeah, I know a lot of special discs, too. Some prototypes that were uh, hanging around for a while. Yeah. Well, not a while, but um, some special edition stuff, some first run stuff, um, some stuff that people have probably not even seen. So a lot more variety, a lot more new things with the mystery box this year than has been done in years past. All right, so let's see if we can get back to some questions from YouTube. Uh, without uh, saying any names, how many discs are in R&D portion at any moment? Who makes the final decisions to put them into production? How many discs are in what? R&D, research and development. Um, well, it just depends on the time of year, I guess you would yeah. say. Now, we, we started our process actually quite a long time ago. Um, I think that was in February or January when we were deciding on what we wanted to have. And then Thomas went to work on what he was going to do. And I guess you could say, I mean, we're always always working on something for this year. Again, the plan is is two latitude discs, the patrol, patrol, uh, the pioneer and the recoil <laughs> um, for dynamic discs. We've got the vandal and the guard, and then for west side discs, we've got the gatekeeper. Um, but uh, again, the keystone got thrown in the mix there, and always working on something. And generally speaking, though, this this year, 2018, we had a significant number of releases between all the different discs, between all three different companies. Moving forward, you are not going to see as much stuff, um, and, and hence why there were only five discs planned for 26, 2016, for 2019, but now there's six with the Keystone. So you're going to see less, and hopefully with less, we can all keep up a little bit better. All right, someone asked, uh, easy to throw challenge, the Pages versus the Oakleys. Can we make this happen? They all seem for it at the D.D. Carrollton event, CSB and crew on the video production. So uh, I don't know if you knew about things we've done, we did years ago, years ago called the Dynamic Duel. Um, and they were very popular and we had thought about bringing it back, but just kind of pushed it back down to the back burner. Well, they are back. And we filmed a dynamic duel while the Oakleys were here. And we actually matched up, what was it, Eric Oakley and Isaiah, Isaiah Esquivel versus Eric McCabe and Paige Bjorkus. And Anthony has been working on that, and that should be released fairly soon. Tomorrow we'll f we're filming another one where it's going to be Jordan Castro, Eric McCabe versus Zach Melton and Paige Bjorkus. So you're going to see some more dy dynamic duels. Hopefully when I travel as well, when I go to some bigger events, we'll have some time. We can put some more of our dynamic players against each other just for some fun, competitive bragging rights events. So look for that on our YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, will, you put, uh, will you put up a champions board in the retail store for the United States Amateur American Play <laughs> Champion like you have for GBO? Just saying that would be pretty cool, but I may be a little biased, says Matt Whitlock, winner of the 2018 United States Amateur Match Play. Yeah, Matt, you're on to something, <laughs> I think. Hey, if you go to discgolfmatchplay.com, which you probably haven't been to in a bit, you might see, and you click on the amateur side of it, um, you know, we just maybe just answered your all your dreams and wishes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look to see what you're talking about. Amateur side. Why don't you bring up my screen there, Danny, <laughs> so we can show everybody. Hey. Mr. Matt Whitlaw, congratulations, USAMPC champion. Huh, what a guy. Look at that, man. He was looking sharp that Look day, Look at those too. baskets, too, matching his shirt with the American took, took home back. Eight, well, he took home, but he hasn't taken them home yet. But um, he, hasn't, <laughs> he hasn't found a home yet for those beautiful 18 veteran baskets. Mm -hmm. um, discs for life, which... We'll just leave it at disc for life. He's got more discs coming from that than he'll ever know what to do with. Uh, 18 T signs. Matt Whitlock was a huge winner and also one of the newest additions to Team Dynamic Discs. So um, come see us in Emporia. Patrick wants to know, will you ever make the American flag at Commander Bag again? Probably. Uh, is classic super soft or fluid plastic going to return to production? Um I do not see either of those coming back into production, but I do see those being an excellent um, possibility for the custom run program. So uh, I would imagine we'll see them at some point. Uh, how many licks does it take to get the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? 12,483. Oh, three. It's always three. Oh, any news on the pine? Any new plastics? I got no news on that one, except that is a fantastic disc that not enough people are using. Who's going to take Ricky Wysocki's spot on Latitude's team? 
uh, the next person to win World Championship. Next Twice. Latitude player to win the next World Championship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, huge thanks to everything you guys do. You're welcome, Matthew. Thank, Thank you. you. Disc Golf Kyle just gave us two eyes, so he's watching us, apparently. Uh, timeline for the Classic Maidens. Great question. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, just here for the out of production announcements. Echo. Oh, these must be from early on. We'll scroll down. In, ter in terms of out of production stuff, uh, I do think it's important for people to probably start to understand and embrace that we are going to start. Um, there, there's going to become less and less of as many offerings as we have. And when something goes uh, off the order form, it might not be produced for for quite a while. So some all some of these uh, items that, I don't know, we've wanted to produce and we thought there was a lot of people that wanted them, maybe there wasn't enough to, yeah, you're, you're probably gonna start seeing a little bit less of all the variations that we've had. Uh, will I be able to buy classic blend EMAC truths anytime soon? Classic blend EMAC truth. We don't have that for real? Do we have classic? I can't keep it all straight. <laughs> I don't even know if we have that. Ask Emac. Uh, uh, what's in the boxes? Uh, how many discs? Well, I can't tell you, obviously, what's in it because that's a mystery. Six. How many do we have? That's a mystery. But we do know there's six in the in the box, but do we know how much it costs? Uh, do you remember the price I, of it? I believe it's six for 60. Six for 60? 59 Something like that. Something like that. Uh, will bar stamps be coming back for putters? Yes. Judge, and... wardens, et cetera. And I just got a, a, a picture update from production over there in Sweden. It was some beautiful non-burst because we've had plenty of people asking for their traditional whites and blacks and pinks and purple putters um, with some really clean stamps. Um, so you're going to see some normal non-burst production stuff in putters soon over here as well as with just the clean bar stamp like you guys <laughs> like that's my favorite one the judge one yeah. any news on the portable basket oh the scout um tell you what that's just another one of those things that it feels like it takes forever <laughs> uh, we're still working on we it. got plenty of samples upstairs always working on something and we're just trying to make it better and better every time and it's it's coming it's cool. coming we know we need it well, we're running on about 30 minutes now, so maybe we can wrap it up. I do want to, I see one bullet point we need to go over, and I want to make, make sure people know about the Dick Sporting Goods, because I think that's a huge thing. Uh, we have received word that we'll be getting placement in 100 stores with auto repl replenishment. So if you have a Dick store that has uh, our brands in there, make sure you go back because they'll be replenished. And is that new? Will they be in new stores or just being replenished? Um, well, so basically we had our little test with Dick Sporting Goods. We were in 50 stores. Okay. And um, apparently things went well enough where they're implementing us into uh, or giving us placement into 100 stores. And with that being said, they will actually reorder. So whenever when stuff sells out, it won't just it won't just be an empty shelf there like it is in some Dick Sporting Goods right now. They will actually get um, restock on stuff. And with that being said, they have given us the freedom to um, not just keep the same consistent disc in their store the entire year. And so um, you might see some unique items in there. You might see some special things that you can only get in Dick Sporting Goods. And uh, again, we'll be in 100 stores. We're hoping for that uh, order to start shipping in early December. So uh, I, obviously I don't have like any kind of manifest that says exactly which stores they'll be in. But if you have one in your area here in a little bit, go check it. If you don't see any, find a manager, find yes. somebody, tell them, hey, where's some D's? I need some D's. I want to throw some D's. <laughs> tell them to get some dynamic <laughs> discs <right. laughs> in their store. And uh, hopefully that word will get back to us and we can be able, we'll be able to get it out there. So yep. So that's it, guys. We want to wrap this up uh, yes. by saying have a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Hopefully you're able to spend time with friends and family and make sure you take that special moment, that time to kind of slow things down, put down the phone, put away the iPad, the computer, spend some time with your family, cherish them, let them know that they are that you are thankful for them as we are just as thankful for you guys for being a part of our family and the Dynamic Disc family and especially even to our team because we're going to end this with uh, one of our team videos that, that I put together a while back because we are just as I know as these team players come visit Emporia and we talk about next year and we do some videos and stuff it just gets me so super hyped and so super ready for 2019 and what to, what I want to see what our team's going to accomplish in there so anyway any last words Jeremy that's it thank you all 
Have a great, amazing Thanksgiving week. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. Always keep it real. Play it, Danny.